Summer 2020, Vancouver closed down a major tent city that it had downtown. But I started hearing that an even huger one had opened up nearby. I decided to go investigate. This is where the old tent city was. This is where everybody basically slept. Now it's completely locked down. It's funny, it looks so pristine now, but just like the amount of suffering that has gone on behind like these walls is, is insane. It's staggering. You might be asking yourself, did closing down this place where everyone slept affect the actual homeless population here? The answer is, of course not. Everyone is still here. Where is everybody sleeping then? Right here, Strathacona Park. The last field was just a cluster of tents altogether. This is like a, a city, for lack of a better word. It's like a little town. It's about a five minute drive from the previous place everyone was crashing. With all the extra space, some people have been building like more advanced homes and uh it's it's huge it's about five times bigger than the last place as well needles everywhere i've personally never seen anything like this barbed wire in a bucket just just because the city's fucked either way because these people need like compassion and they obviously need a place to stay but also they're just gonna take advantage of anything you do you can see everyone's pulled up with their rv it looks like a lot of people intend to stay here for the long haul what's this place all about and how do you is there a way to fix it your habit is not our responsibility get a job junkie society winter december I decided to come back to paint a full picture of what life is like here once it actually gets cold. There was fewer tents, but still a lot. It was quieter, a little bit of a weirder vibe. Me and my friend had an idea. We're here today giving away some clothes. What we got in here, pillows, hats, coats. I feel like the coats are gonna go fast. Can I see the Russia hat? Is it wrong if I just take this for myself? <laughs> <laughs> it's really sick. Yeah, this is beautiful. I don't know if it looks like much, but there, there is a ton of clothes stuffed in here. Over here is the food tent where people can come get a snack. These geese are so used to being around like humans here that they don't even flinch when you come close. We walked over to the food tent, asked if they needed help, like with anything. Yeah. <laughs> they gave us. <laughs> they gave us like a, a a whole bunch of food to hand out. Put our ass to work. They, they put our ass to work. <laughs> it's so funny to to come here as like this internet guy, be like, um, "Do you guys need help with anything? I'm so great." And they're like, "Yo, yeah, we need help with <laughs> here. Fucking get to work, bitch." Yeah. I'm like, "Ah, oh, okay. We'll have to walk around, I guess." Yeah. This is funny. A COVID testing tent with just a dollar sign like i'm pretty sure that's a joke right <laughs> that's actually funny i don't know if you can see but this person has a whole ass tree house up here this tent is my home a private residence where i live i do not consent to anyone including law enforcement to open enter or look into my tent without my express written permission and then it says anti-social down there these people over here were practicing throwing knives. Other people I talked to confirmed that this is like a popular thing to do in the area. Like make that um, your band and if you're not in a band, just... So like, you know, hey man, we're good people. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what color you are. Um, what? This is a torn up reward poster. I, you can't even tell if it's for a human or an animal or what anymore. Some of these pictures really say a thousand words. We're giving away a lot of food, bro. Good sir, I saw your outfit. I said I gotta talk to this guy. How do you find it here, man? I love it. Yeah. Freedom! <laughs> yeah, off the grid, yeah. right? I'm expl- well, Except for the thugs, you know. The thugs? See, that's what I was gonna say is like, you know, you drive by, it looks kind of spooky, and then I'm here today, maybe it's just because I'm giving out food, but everyone is super nice, super friendly, like, is it it for a weekend man we come here like three days before welfare you're here just fucking crying and like the real fucking ugliness does it get shady here no the ugliness of the drugs and you know of the life what do you have to say to kind of like the there's a lot of people in the city that you know they'll look at the tent city and be like the city needs to get these people the fuck out of here you the know city, like city like doesn't do shit the police you ever see a policeman on there so the fuck you know it's like they, they police the sidewalks everywhere else but you know they don't police this place they make they leave it like this you know 
Well, thanks, man. Is, is there anything any, anything else you want to say? Or? Fuck the world. <laughs> fuck the world? Fuck the police. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck the police, okay. You have a question, Nick? Yeah, I got one question. You know, at the beginning, you said, you know, like, you envy some people right here, and you think it's maybe, like, sometimes too comfortable for them, like, to, to that they don't have an incentive to well, want no, to? no, it's miserable, but it's, it's, miserable. it's, it's, it's I don't know, it's, I, I like camping. I've always loved camping, you know? I like garbage, and I like camping. It is, like, to me, it's a paradox. Yeah. Wait, you like garbage? I don't know what it is. My dad used to take me to the dump. Your, son, your dad weeks, what? My dad took me to the dump. Uh -huh. was, my dad traveled the world. He worked for space research. His boss was an assassin on the whole side. I never saw him. But when, when he was in town, we'd go to the dump. How come you guys would go to the dump? Because it was fun. We'd go fucking the dump. We'd go clean the house. We'd bring shit to the dump. And then we'd walk around and treasure, look for treasure. Did you find it? You always find treasure. You always find treasure. You're a treasure, sir. People are wasteful. Everything I have is, it just never ends. You got some bras in there? Well, yeah, that's my specialty. I sell to the, to the working girls, you know, like the, 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 oh. the prostitutes. That's how it all started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get high. We talked to that guy for like an hour, but they, they reloaded us. They gave us a bunch of chips. They gave me a box of croissants to carry around. Yeah. Let's get back into it, I guess. Back in the thick of it. Let's yeah. Go. You gotta be so careful walking around here. Yeah, let's see this. Equality. Sorry, what does it say? No lower or middle class. No lower or middle class. And you've you've painted your face black? Yeah. What's, uh, you, you're trying to make a statement about equality? Men in general, we have all form prejudice against one another. And um, Tent City is a mess because for the first three to four months, we had absolutely no garbage disposal. Mm -hmm. We had to be arranged and fought for. I painted myself black because it's matter if we're black, we're white, we're drug addicts, not drug addicts. Uh, there's blacklisted lawyers that live here, there's ex-military people that live here, there's educated and degraded as well, and they're stuck in Tent City living in hell. <laughs> yeah, let's see them try and cancel that guy, hey? Good luck. <laughs> we just gave away a ton of food. It's getting dark. We talked to a lot of people. Not everyone wanted to do an interview. It's funny, when I was walking around here the other day, I felt like... Uh, a little bit alien and like everyone was about to kick my ass but then when you're I mean I guess go figure but when you're walking around with food everyone is like nice they're like oh you like you have a reason to be here you know what are people supposed to do on a day like this man look at this look how deep this fucking shit is man I'm glad we handed out some clothes the other day because Jesus Christ is it freezing here just talked to a mom and her son who are both clearly hooked on drugs. They're both here in their RV. They they had some story about being here to look for a friend. Both of them denied being on any drugs. The, neither of them said they needed any help. Very fucked up stuff, man. How do you how do you deal with it on days like this, man? You get used to it? My my heart goes out to everyone here on like it's fucking freezing out, man. What would you say to like cuz I know some people in the city want this this entire ten city to get like get it out of here type thing, you know. How much did we get to deal with this? Eighty one million or something. What do you mean eighty one million? The federal government pitched in or something just to deal with us, to get rid of us. To move you guys out? Why do you think that is? Well, it's a public fire right? not a campground. But if they, like, if they kick you out, you're just gonna go to the next park, right? Yeah, <laughs> probably. What they do is build buildings and then kill and pull of us. Well, you know. I got a drug habit, but I want to quit, right? And how am I supposed to quit if I'm surrounded by other people who don't want to quit? Rent or something? They segregate us to keep us addicted, to keep us down, because there's a whole industry that's developed because we're really here, right? Yeah. Pays a lot of people's bills. Yeah. Anybody younger who's watching this, if anyone ever offers you crack or heroin or anything like that, just remember this is how it ends. I've met people in Tent City that are going through addiction and despair and hell. The one thing that I'm sure of is that this is not a positive or safe place to be for anybody, let alone a drug user. And, you know, I actually stumbled on a news article that the city is already trying to figure out a way to kick people out of this park. I just want to ask what happens when you close this park. You already closed the park. It doesn't, people are just going to move somewhere else.
You can just keep shutting down every park until you kick them out of the city. But I think all these cities like LA and Vancouver need a permanent solution to this problem. It seems like we just don't know what that is yet. And if they do close off this park, I'll be here to show you guys whatever happens next. If you have a nice comfy bed or couch to sleep on tonight, I hope you're feeling grateful because I know I am. I don't know if this is getting monetized, so you can uh, support me on Patreon if you like. You can do just a dollar a month and that goes a long way. Or there's other cool stuff like getting thanked at the end of the video and credits like this. Thanks, Lap. <laughs> right now it's only Lap. Love you, bro. Link in the comments and description. That's about it, I think. Love you guys. Peace.